I'm your host, Sarah Boss, and welcome to Attainable Podcast. Hi, I'm so excited to have you on the pod. Hi, thank you for having me. I'm I'm literally so excited. I have been following you, I feel like, for the longest time because of the laundry video. And I have just, you've inspired my whole, like, laundry setup. I, you were the reason I went out and bought, like, a bunch of new products. I could not find the, what is it, the Val... The Felsnapta? Yes, can't find it anywhere, but I'm telling you, when I find it... It's in my cart. At Walmart. I mean, the, Walmart's the only place that I've ever shopped for it. So that's the only place. But I know it's distributed in other places. Um, And I always tell people, I'm like, go to where it has a borax or like you see like the really weird laundry things and look all the way to the bottom shelf. Um, I'm chatting with it just got acquired by a place like these people called Summit Brand. So I'm chatting with them to work with them next year. And uh, I'm I'm. I've been at like they very aware of the distribution problem. Walmart is obviously very aware of the distribution problem and they're very aware of me, which is extremely weird. I was like, I'm so sorry. Can you please repeat? Did you just say Walmart knows who I am? They're like, <laughs> there's been a lot of conversations about you. I was like, oh my God. I'm, I'm sorry. I have to go piss myself. Can you leave? <laughs> like, you look at alone? you just solving like, world problems. Just bizarre. So, uh, <laughs> But yeah, I uh, we have another meeting, I think, in February um, where we'll be like, can I get a lowdown on this whole thing? Because I get death threats about people not being able to find it. So if you could, like, let that me know. That wild. Be- um, they sent me a whole box that I could give some away. So I'll be doing, um, mm-hmm. I posted a giveaway, so I'll be giving some away, um, which I'm very excited about. But anyway, anyway, yes, I feel like we are twin, twin flames. We like you to me are like the more organized, more aesthetic version of me. Like we have the same interests. You just do it a lot more neatly. <laughs> it's just I have all day, every day to do it. I think is the thing, you know, because like I I see so many girls on like my for you page and on my feed who work full like nine to five jobs all day long and their houses are beautiful. And I'm like, listen, I couldn't do that. The only reason I'm able to clean all day (laughs) is because it's my like full time thing, like total props to everybody who works all day and is still able to somehow have a functioning house. I get so worked up if my house isn't clean and organized, like I could not do it. But give yourself some credit though. We're gonna we're gonna dive into this in a little bit. But um, like you, there is something in your mind. Like you, I strongly believe you see the world in a different way, which is fascinating to me. But um, before before we jump into all that, can you give a brief description of who you are, what you do for anybody who may not be following you? Yeah, of course. So basically, I I don't really align myself necessarily with any specific niche or topic I kind of would just say it's lifestyle I post routines cleaning videos hauls I mean I share like my favorite things really whatever's on my mind that's what I share and I try to film it and try to share it in an aesthetic but still realistic form you know we all have bad days we all have days where we just want to like sit on the couch and do nothing So I try to share that, but still at the same time, be a little bit on the aesthetic side. (laughs) I've just always been a fan of that. And I've always just loved sharing my life on social media. But something I have learned over the years is staying true to who you are, because social media comparison, I'm sure you know, the comparison game is real, whether it comes from numbers or just other people's content, it is a strong comparison game. And I have learned that when you scroll on your feed, this is just a little tip for anyone scrolling on your feed, do not compare because people show what they want to show on social media. And I'm not saying that that means that people are fake on social media. That is not what I mean. But I'm saying you're not going to show yourself at the lowest of low right right you might show yourself that medium tier of low but like you're not going to show that bottom of bottom low so just like be mindful when you're scrolling through and I say this specifically because whenever I meet people everyone's like oh my gosh your life looks so perfect your home looks so perfect and I'm like 
it is just that is surface level. Like, let me tell you, I've got my own. Do we can we cuss on here? Oh, oh, fuck okay. guys, we can. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, but like, I've got my own shit going on. I just don't show that, and so I've tried to create with my lifestyle content those boundaries that I need to be in a good headspace. I could go on and on about the whole thing of, um, you know, burnout and how to avoid burnout when you're posting all the time and all this stuff. But that's me. That's what I post is basically aesthetic lifestyle content. Long story long. (laughs) Yeah, you are. And you're so incredibly talented. I I agree that it's it's not that you have a niche, uh, but you do have a style. And I, I love that um, like when I'm going to your page and what is fascinating to me as a creator is how consistent you are on all platforms. Um, digital world to me is very much something that feels very tangible. And especially with somebody on multiple platforms, it's almost like you're walking into their house and it's different rooms of their house. You see their Pinterest, you see their TikTok, you see their Instagram, everything that you do is so consistent. And I love it. I, I can like walk in and I basically am seeing the world in a different lens, um, a very inspiring lens, which is that I think that's why people love you. I think that's why people follow you. And your content is so value based, so value based. Every single thing that you put out is something that somebody can learn or take something away from, which I adore. Um, and I 100% agree with you. I was just having this conversation last night with a friend um, and uh, because when the you know when videos get too big that's when the mean people start coming out like that's when the hate comments or whatever and uh this whole panera situation has really brought some people out and when it went viral on twitter that was like a whole new audience so we're just chatting about the mean comments and it doesn't really bother me but my it does bother my friends uh or my family who's like watching the comments i'm like okay you guys are like not supposed you don't look at the comments you guys are all banned from looking at all that and she was saying yeah but like they see very like they they don't even know you like they don't they see very little of you she's like you're very open but at the same time there's no way that they can really know you or you know they don't see everything i was like yeah like i as i can be as transparent as i want to online and i i try to be i would say that i'm more open than the average person and you still don't see the clutter in my corner you still don't see the days that i get off of my computer and i you know go to talk talk to joseph because i'm incredibly stressed and everything feels like it's falling apart like you just don't you don't see that because what am i gonna do like cry and then flip out my phone and be like talking to my husband like that doesn't make any sense um but that's like a whole tangent itself but agree there's I think there's a difference between looking at this lifestyle content and then comparing your own lifestyle versus then seeing it as something that you can learn from um and seeing it something that can inspire and your content is incredibly inspiring and i think that when people are looking at it there it's very easy to fall into we're looking at anything online it's very easy to fall into this mind space or headspace of like why don't i have that but you have to understand understand it for like the art form that it is and take like take what you want from it take that value and and then go and like understand like everybody's life is different etc that's not even what i wanted to talk to you about today but the great little side <laughs> chat um, i know speaking of your aesthetic lifestyle i i really want to dive in i really want to see like how you do it um i want to know how your brain works i want to hear about all your favorite products i want to hear about your systems Let's so that's that's a lot. First of all, can you explain your color rule? My color rule. Okay, yeah. so here's the deal. It doesn't enter my life and this is extreme. Like you I I agree. I think there is something I think I'm wired a little differently. I'm a perfectionist. I think that's very clear. I'm a little crazy when it comes to this kind of stuff. If it does not match a color scheme, it does not enter my home. It does not enter the closet. It does not even enter the junk drawer. Like, it does not come in the house. Your junk drawers <laughs> are even... The, my favorite My favorite videos of yours are me organizing X, Y, Z, whatever, because I'm like, <laughs> I love that I get to see the before. Like, I, and in my head, I'm like, I she most likely took these drawers out, made it a mess in order to make this video. I don't even care. I want to know that there was a mess at some point in her house. <laughs> Yeah, right? (laughs) I hate the befores. I just posted yesterday a declutter my entryway. 
that <laughs> thing was scaring me. I don't know if you guys saw, but I that, did. like, part where I vacuumed, did you guys see the dust bunnies behind there? Actually disgusting. But see, that's just one part of my head. I walked by that every single day, and it bothered me so much. But it was so overwhelming because I just didn't know how to organize it. So I think that is, like, the first thing. We're going to go back to the color thing in one yes. second. But yes. with organizing... I found that I really like sharing those styled videos of how I organize, you know, organize with me because it can be so overwhelming when you just straight up have no idea how you want to organize something. Like, how do you organize a junk drawer, right? So I really try to give those ideas because I know it can be so difficult. And that was me with my entryway. I was like, listen, I need shoes. I need my dog's leash. I need my purse. Like, how do I organize that? And it's just coming up with those systems that can be a little bit difficult. But going back to the color scheme, if it does not match a color scheme, it does not enter my house. So I've got a cu couple of like neutrals are okay, right? And I know the sad beige, sad beige lifestyle. Do not care. I do, do not care. Not care. Respectfully, you no. <laughs> I like do not care. Um, I've found, listen, I grew up in a pink bedroom. I think that did things to me. Okay. Like I colors stress me out. They cause me to feel things that I probably should not feel. They don't make me feel happy. I just feel overwhelmed. I really wish I, I love going on Pinterest and looking at the maximalism, bright rooms, the poster, like just making it all cute. I love that. But realistically, I could not get anything done. I love that when I can close the tab. I'm like, that's lovely. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> it's the tab closing that just changes it. So anyway, neutrals are great. I love patterns, but the patterns have to also match the color scheme. Mm -hmm. So if you know my home, I've got rugs. I love rugs with patterns. One, because I've got a dog and just life. You know, I don't need a thing showing stains and everything. So I like little pops of color. So that's where the like navy blue comes in, green, like forest green, always safe, and then metals. I love my gold. I love the black. Like I like all of that. It's just you learn what you like. And when you're decorating, also when you're curating your wardrobe and everything, you're going to find the things that you gravitate towards and that's your style. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So when you go into a store, if you find a piece and you're like, I love that, it doesn't matter. You're going to find a spot for it, even if it's not like your ideal style or colors. I don't think everybody needs to have their own color thing. I, I think everybody has their own. <laughs> well, I think everybody. I bet we could. I bet, I bet that, would, <laughs> that would make a lot of things easier. It would probably make it easier, but I don't think it would make it as enjoyable because I know a lot of people really like their colors. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I get that. But my wardrobe, I mean, it's all the same color thing. I don't like getting ready in the morning. I hate it. I try so hard to buy these clothes that are like cute and trendy. I never wear them. Never wear. Them. I can't even tell you the last time I wore jeans. I literally can't. I wear leggings every single day. You're not a jeans girly? I used to be. But when you wear leggings every single day, jeans. That's just hysterical. Not comfortable. I'm a jeans girl through and through. I really? have. So I wear jeans. I, I wear jeans so much that I've realized like I really need to like mix it up or something because like that that's the je jeans are my leggings they're my comfort pant like I just put them on and like if somebody were to be like you're gonna die now what do you want to be wearing I'd be like jeans and a white t-shirt like classic done I, I want to look like one of those books in a Christian bookstore walking on the beach jeans and a white t-shirt <laughs> like that's <exactly> <laughs> <laughs> that's my like the family the family photos that people take where they're all like walking that jeans and a white t-shirt see I used to be like that I used to feel like jeans were just the comfiest thing ever but I'm telling you when you switch to leggings every day it, it's it's a personal thing okay like I work basically on my couch right back there I work all day every day in jeans I can't really stretch I can't like move the way I want to move yeah and when I'm cleaning 
which is what I do like 85% of the day, I'm bending down, I'm squatting, I'm getting an uncomfortable and I would find that at the end of the day, the button, I'd have like an imprint on my stomach from like bending over so much. And I just switched to leggings. But when I pick out my clothes for my closet, I realize I wear the same thing every single day. And I embrace that. Okay, it is a t shirt, cardigan, leggings, cloud slides, every single day. That is what I wear all the time. You might see a different little variation of that. Maybe I'll have like a little summer outfit where there's no cardigan. But aside from that, that's what I wear. And I've just embraced that. You know, I try so hard to put together a super cute outfit. It's just not me. I yeah. love seeing other people do it. That's just not for me. It's like I, I hate doing my makeup in the morning. I really do. I am like a concealer, powder, mascara, eyebrow gel, aquaphor. <laughs> aquaphor. <I'm> like, <laughs> that's a. Can you, wait, can you tell, can you tell them about your husband's vest? This story kills me. The what? bright yellow, is it bright oh. yellow? Your husband's like works thing or something? Yes. So he's going to love this because I know he's listening to this right now. Um, He works in construction. He's a carpenter, right? So he has to wear these yellow vests and like neon colors. I try to put them towards the back of the closet. Our closet is like the weirdest shape. It's like this. And then it's got this part behind the door that goes all the way back. I put all of his like ugly clothes back there and he fully is aware of it. That's one thing. He fully encourages me to live the life that I want to live, yeah. decorate the way I want to live, organize the way I want to organize. Like the other week. He's like, I, you go for it. I'm just living in this world, honey. Like, listen, he loves it. He's me in a male form. And I, we were talking about this the other day. Hi, unpopular opinion. Don't always agree that opposites attract. I hear you. I really, I've, I, What's I his name? St- Noah. Noah. Yes. I just Sometimes, wanted to name to a. I mean, I don't have a face, but like name to a, a image a in my person, mind. a body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but we were we were playing. Um. Do you know the Instagram account? We are not strangers. Oh my gosh! Yeah, but I haven't looked at it. Like I don't think I follow it, but I'm aware okay. of it. Can you? Yeah. But I, give me a description. Yeah, I didn't follow them either, but they have this card game. So fun. It's a little, they have one for like friends. Oh my Um, God, is it questions? No, it's called We Are Not Strangers. No, 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 but like, are they questions? Like, yes, it's a question. I have a friend, I actually have a friend named Emily, and she, uh, it's like her thing. She buys every version of these like get to know you like deeper question things so actually i'm pretty sure we've played this we most likely have it because when she comes she's got this tote bag and she brings a ton of games our favorite ones are this our favorite ones are the spicy ones where you get like way too deep (laughs) it's like we're like amazing we've all literally my whole friend group known each other since middle school and then we all got married to each other you we're in the yearbook as you know when we were like i don't 11 years old and then we all just married each other. And it's like, we apparently don't know enough about each other. So we're going to take out this game so we can <laughs> learn, like, what your, you know, big toe looks like. Like, it's our obsession. And it's really, I think, just me and her who like it, but we drag everyone in it. I love I'm, it. I'm dying that that was the question that you came up with. Like, the what our big toe looks like. I <laughs> love that. <laughs> the first thing that came to my mind. I don't know why. But anyway, I'm so sorry. So, yes, we are not strangers. You and your husband, Noah. Yeah, so we were talking about this this weekend, and I was like, you know, like, he's the male version of me, and I was like, I feel like we are just the same. We love to do the same things. I never have to force him to go to Target with me, ever. I just go, I want to go to Target. Like, whenever I want to go run an errand on the weekend, he's like, I'll go with you. Do you want to Nordstrom? Let's go. He's totally game. Do you have Nordstrom near you? Yeah. You got to come down. You got to come down. We all have <laughs> Charleston is a, an amazing place. I adore it here. You would think our shopping was better. And if you are like old money Charleston and with a lot of money, then maybe it's good because they've got like some boutiques and we've got like the designer stores. I don't know where you get your underwear, but like if you. For regular, like, we don't have Abercrombie & Fitch. We don't have Nordstrom. We don't have Macy's. We don't have Zara. 
like what's a girl supposed to do i, I don't can't know how be- you make it it's bizarre anyways anyways I'm ke- yeah, you gotta you gotta come down here, and we'll yeah, take you. I do. We'll take you shopping and do the whole. So there. Do the I'll, whole I'm so there, and my entire suitcase will be in the color palette. I'm like, I don't want to walk into the house and not match. Yeah, unpack the suitcase before you come in. We gotta check you. Yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. Yes, he'll go wherever with me. So he is just so encouraging of the whole color. Because sometimes I'll get comments that are like, "Oh, your husband must hate you," and I'm like, "Well." Actually, he loves me very much, and he really appreciates my color palette. Let me tell you what. He gets the same way. We don't love bright colors. We don't love that stuff. We live a very peaceful life, and I really do think that's because of the environment that we live in. Yeah. It's like lack of clutter means no cluttered mind, and that's I agree. huge. And it's I, I always say, like, if you want to know my mental state, walk around my house and you will know where I'm at because if it is cluttered, then you know exactly what my mind looks like. But with the color thing, I don't think that's a bad idea. Like, especially if, if, you know, you can pick whatever color palette you want. Your color palette could be like red, green, blue, and yellow, which is like, uh, wow, but like, go for it, queen. And I, when I got my first apartment and especially when, just when I moved into this house, I... I was like, there's no reason why everything down to the spatula I flip grilled cheeses with because I don't eat pancakes, like, shouldn't look exactly how I want it to look. Like, I was like, there's no reason. I mean, I want every nail that comes into this home to be in my style. If you laid everything out, like, you would know that it's me. Now, moving in with Joseph put a little bit of a non-color palette wrench in there because then we had to blend styles and they're very different. We talked about this. Very different. So it's a slow process. But I do think that's like a general, like the amount of care that you put in when buying clothes or like a piece of furniture, I'm like, just put that amount of care when you're buying your wine opener. Like which one is going to make you the happiest? Like from every single piece like, if you hold it, does it make you happy? Does it make you aesthetic? That's why we like the Joanna Gaines section in Target, because it's curated. So curate your home. It's, I, yeah. it seemed, it's, I feel like it's a very, it's like, well, a high maintenance thing to be low maintenance, because then that allows you to, you don't have to think about much. Like, your brain is clear. I'm like, it's a very easy thing to do to then make everything in your life so much easier. I agree. If you're going to spend your money, it should at least look good. I mean, you know what I mean? That's how I feel. Let let me tell you, I open packages all the time and you're right. It is, it's a high maintenance thing for a low maintenance lifestyle because our scissors, matte black, I leave them out on the counter. They look fine out. If they were bright red, they'd stand out and it would be too much. Yeah. I totally agree with that. And I really like the word curating when it comes to everything, organizing, um, decorating, doing your wardrobe. I love that word because I don't love the idea. And I know some people's schedules, you know, you've got kids, you've got lives, whatever. Sometimes it is just taking a weekend and getting as much done as you can. I totally get that. But specifically for me, when it comes to organizing or coming down with a system, I really like to take my time with it. Because I feel like sometimes when I rush to do things, it doesn't turn out the way that I want it to. Um, and then in the long term, I get frustrated with it. And it doesn't just, it doesn't work for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you're like, I just cleaned this. I just organized this. Like, why is this system not working? And it's because you didn't take enough time on it. It's amazing, like, how much we rush through things. I just did this th- same thing with my office. We It was a Sunday. And which, oh, the best feeling, Sunday. And I don't know, I just had this urge. Joseph came downstairs and this, my office was empty. I had moved the furniture. I had moved everything into the dining room and the entryway, which are like the things that are neighboring the office. And I I just looked at the room and I was like, we're going to start over. I'm going to spend hours. I'm going to look at everything. So much was thrown away. I'm like, we're doing it over. That's why I like, I love moving 
because I feel like you get a fresh slate. Like it's my favorite. Joseph does not like moving, but he moved 13 times before he went to college. So like, I kind of understand, but oh I'm gosh. like, I know um, if it were up to me, I'd be like every six months, like, let's go, you know? Um, but yeah, just the, the care and the bliss of really taking your time on these things. And it's not, it's not just because like it'll end up with a better outcome, but it's also how how much of life are we rushing? Yeah, all, all the time, all the time. And so when I we completely do- agree, wow, what a novel idea! Yeah, I believe that organizing and cleaning this might be unpopular. It should be therapeutic. I don't think you should be. I mean, trust me, and, you know, Noah, my husband, can say, uh, I sometimes do get aggressive when I'm cleaning. If it, if I get too overwhelmed and stuff, I will be like, you put that away right now. You know how, like, your mom's on Saturday yes. mornings yeah. would always I just want like, to do not put that ball there. Listen, I find myself sometimes getting like that, and I have to, like, snap back, and I'm like, one, it's just cleaning, and two, I love cleaning. Like, this is a really funny story. Um, when I was younger, when I was like, I don't know, probably 10, I was obsessed with cleaning. My mom, she still to this day tells me that when I was little, she would go into my bedroom and she would sit because sometimes that was the only clean room in the house. And I was obsessed with cleaning. My parents, it got so bad. My parents would literally have to be like, you need to stop cleaning and go hang out with your friends. Like, they would literally tell me to stop cleaning because I would go through and clean. Once my room was spotless, I'd be like, let me just clean this really quick. And let me, like, I was obsessed with cleaning just everybody's stuff. I yeah. found so much peace in it. could be, like, by myself and just working on something. And it wasn't something that took a lot of brain power. I just found it very, like, therapeutic to yeah. just sit and clean the baseboards or is your family know. like neat and tidy like you that's a very interesting question you know I feel like yes and no I feel like my whole family I think wants to be as organized as me um and I've found it literally makes my heart so happy because my grandmother will literally buy like everything that I have she's oh my so god cute. I love that so much yes and her house is literally design inspiration straight out of a magazine it is absolutely gorgeous like stunning modern beautiful like elegant I love it um so I'm always really flattered when she says she likes my stuff because I'm like that means so much coming from someone with like crazy style and I just love it. And um, my parents, my parents' house, I, I really, I don't, they don't live near me. So I don't know like the details of the junk drawer. Um, but when I was growing up, it was always very clean, but we did have a junk drawer. Sorry, mom. Mm -hmm. But we did have a junk drawer. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, w I was asking that because I realized like, how and this was 100% was a control thing for me but i realized the weight that was taken off of me when i moved to college and i had a room to myself i lived in the dorms all 4 years because uh, it was a very small campus so that's what most pe i'd say 80% of people did it's a little bit different than a normal college experience but so when i got to do like my own dorm room i re like and I had complete co control of the space. I realized like how powerful that was for me. And it made me look back in high school where I used to get really stressed. And my room was the only real place that I could control. I lived with a brother and, and a mom and a dad and like they lived their own lives and they were super busy. And so, and it, you know, it was a house for four people. I, I wasn't going to be able to, to, and it wasn't my house. It was my parents' house. I'm not going to be able to, to curate the space or organize things how I want to, you know, like then I would be messing up my mom's system or whatever. So then when I got to college, especially, oh my God, I got my first apartment. It was like, literally, if there's a place for something, I'm the person telling it to be in that place. Like I have complete control over every single thing and where it's put. That is, it was a, it was like unlocking something for me. I really agree. And I don't know. 
I wonder if that comes from specific childhoods, maybe. But I, I completely agree. There's only so much you can really control. And I think your environment, like I remember when I was younger in high school, and I completely agree with you. I would just be so excited to have my own kitchen, have my own living room. Like I was so excited to have just my own because I loved my bedroom. I was able to do my bedroom. Like there's so much more that I was so excited to organize a kitchen. I was so excited to have one of those silverware organizers and have yeah. all the silverware match. And I was excited about having a couch that was like my couch. I could eat on my couch. I could, you know what I mean? Do whatever I wanted on my couch. And I completely agree with that. There's something really like independent and exciting about that, you know? Yeah, yeah. no, I totally agree. Um, so I, I want to hear a couple of things. I want to hear some of your like if you are going to, you know, dive into this lifestyle, these are the products you need. I want to hear your favorite products. And I also want to hear like some almost like life rules or systems that you've put in place that have made this like it easier to, you know, create, clean, etc. Do you want to start with products or rules? I'll let you, it's like a... Let's do products. Let's do products. Because okay. I actually have um, a new product. That is like my favorite. Okay. Like absolutely obsessed with it. You could actually, if you're watching like the video, it's right there, the little handle. You see that? I'm obsessed with this thing. Okay. It is, the brand is Tinico, T-I-N-E-C-O. You can get it on Amazon. This is a vacuum slash mop and it is cordless. So we have like hard floors and so we have to go through cord vacuum and then mop, right? This you spill cereal and milk on the floor, it's going to clean it right up. It's cordless. It's got a little tank. It's for got real, a for real? For real. And it really does work. I filmed a TikTok video of me dumping the dirty water into the toilet. It is the most disgusting thing. Like, I thought my floors were clean. Yeah. I ran that. I ran that thing four times yesterday, and the water was still coming out, like, dirty looking. And I was like, this, it scared me. So it's a little bit of a splurge. I think it's like $250. But that is not as bad as I thought that that was going to be. Especially considering my brain always goes to Dyson prices. I'm like, oh, that's not bad. Yeah, no, I, I'm not a, I'm not a Dyson girl when it comes to the vacuums. I'm an unpopular opinion. I love their fans. I actually just got um, an air purifier and fan from them. I really like their fans. I really like the fans, that air purifier thing. I think they're the best looking fans on the market. And I think it's hard to find a cute fan. So I love that. But vacuums, I think there's so many other ones. I'm a Tinico kind of person. This is, again, me. All my stuff has to match. So their vacuums are black and white. So I've got the carpet shampooer, the cordless vacuum, now the mop slash vacuum love them all. I have zero complaints about them. They work really well. They charge really well. So number one is definitely this mop vacuum thing. I literally love it. I get so excited to use it and I'm excited to get off this call and go run it again. Anyway, (laughs) so that's number one. Number two is definitely the Mr. Clean, Clean Freak spray. So it's like a, it's got a two settings for your nozzle. You can just do one spray or it has a really cool continuous spray. Love doing that on like the counters. Microfiber cloths, you can't go wrong. Paper towels, I'm telling you, if I'm cleaning, I can go through three rolls and fill up the trash can. So bad. I recommend investing in some good microfiber cloths, but they don't have to be the yellow ones. You can go on Amazon and And get like cute gray ones or I wouldn't go with black and I wouldn't go with white just because you're going to get stains on them and the black sometimes can leave little fuzzies everywhere so with microfiber cloths like these are like the ones that you like dry a car with right like yeah you you can go with those but at Target they also have a really cool right now really good price you can get three different sets of microfiber towels now I don't know the different type or what they're called but basically it comes with two that are like this I don't even know what to say they're like they're smooth cloths they don't absorb a lot of water but when you're polishing they're very that's what freaks me out about them is like I've never liked them because I always get mad that they don't absorb 
anything. And like in my head, I'm spraying the counter with cleaner and then wiping it down. And all I see is it pushing like yeah. the cleaner everywhere. I think I'm using it wrong. Yeah, there's different towels for different uses. So I recommend going to Target and you can get this three pack. I think it comes with like six totals towel, six towels total. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And it has basically the perfect towel for every use. It's got two that are really absorbing, but they don't leave any of those little fuzzies around. They've got two that are great for mirrors. So they polish really nice. And then there's one that's like in the middle that's like kind of absorbing really good at polishing and it's just kind of figuring out which ones you like to use and yeah. where I really like those and then I think lastly I feel like three is a good number for favorite cleaning things yeah. right three isn't really a cleaning one but if you have anything linen get yourself a fabric shaver You've I really this. can't recommend it enough I have a linen couch and it's got little like pilly you know, when you, you know, the inside of your leggings, sometimes after wearing them for a while, they get a little like pilly and gross or whatever sweaters. You can use this on anything. You can use this on linen chairs, couches, rugs, sweaters, the inside of your leggings, anything that gets a little pilly and you find yourself pulling off these little things. Fabric shavers are the way to go. You can get them on Amazon. Um, and they're just fabulous. Yes. And all of this, I'm assuming, cause you are the Amazon queen we can find in your, in your shop or in your, I know you're redoing your website, but I don't think it'll be ready in the next. Yeah, time. it won't be. Yeah. I think you're just starting up. that. Um, so <laughs> we'll link everything as well so that you guys, when you're listening can have very easy access. Um, okay. I love, I love that. Okay. Yeah. Now rules, general rules. Ru- life rules. Uh, we have the color rule. Um, and if in case you are not watching the video, I want to let you know that her dog is also black. So <laughs> it goes down to the living organisms in her, in her house. Listen, I, I would pet him right now, but he's not feeling very well. So he's, no. he's kind of when he's sleeping, I let him sleep. But yeah, he, he is aesthetic. He loves he loves the lifestyle. All of his stuff is aesthetic, too. He's got a little black and white leash, a little black and white harness. He's got oh. the tan little dog bowls i mean aside from his toys okay i gotta expose myself oh his toys are pretty wild and i will say sometimes you can see them in the corners of the videos but i normally kick them out because they stand out too much he is the one thing that breaks my color rule and i really do feel like when we have kids they're gonna break the color rule too i I think love that though those are the two weak spots i think that i'm gonna crack a little um so he's got like these green neon toys they make his heart so happy so he gets to have them he's got these three rings it's like red yellow and blue they make his heart happy so he's gonna have them i mean that's where the color rule cracks is when i'm like they make him so happy. My color rule can just step aside for a second. So it, you know, makes him makes him happy and does his thing. I love that. Um, <laughs> yeah, but for, I guess, rules, I really wouldn't say they're rules because I feel like they don't fit for everything because I think I have those little things. The overall thing that I do is when I shop, I don't like to waste money. I don't like to waste money. I don't love shopping trends either. Mm -hmm. I think that's another big thing is a lot of times, and I know a lot of you guys can feel the same way as me, when you find something on TikTok and everybody's like reviewing, blah, 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 trying out this, you buy it, you're always disappointed. I mean, like, it is very rare that I buy something that's, like, been a viral favorite where I'm like, I love this. It's just, it's a must-have. So I think kind of being a little bit more peaceful when you're scrolling on your feed, you don't need to buy everything right away. I think it's smart when you're shopping to kind of stick with some sort of self-control. I am a shopaholic. I love shopping, right? But I I think that there's something in add something to your cart, let it sit there for a little while, come back to it a week later, a couple days later, you still want it just as much that means something. But there's sometimes you're going to find those items, you're walking around home goods, and your heart's going to skip a beat. 
and you're gonna be like I need this get it like yeah. get it I'm talking more for the viral items yeah give it a little bit because I promise you on your for you page you're gonna find a review where someone hates it and it's gonna change and then everyone's gonna all of a sudden hate that because TikTok's got that thing where like everybody loves it and then everybody hates it yeah so it's, it's eventually gonna go down um but for overall rules, be mindful with what you're shopping and figure out if a color palette works for you, what is your color palette. Don't look at what other people's stuff looks like necessarily. Um, I recommend going on Pinterest and just pin whatever you're like. I love that. It doesn't need to be. It could be something like a photo shoot that you really like. If you like the colors, if you like the vibe, you like the energy. And before you go shopping, before you go scroll on Amazon, go through that Pinterest board. Get inspired from your Pinterest board. And that is going to be you. I think mm -hmm. that it's hard to go on TikTok because you're following individual people. Go on Pinterest because you're putting together a board that is pretty much you. You're not going based on someone telling you to buy it. You're going off of what it looks like. Um, and for like organizing and stuff like that for rules have, this is so cliche and our parents probably said this, but everything has a place and like make it have a designated home. Cause if it doesn't have a designated home, it's going to float around your entire house. So it might be a little ridiculous, but get that little clear acrylic bin for your scissors, get yeah. the little clear acrylic bin for your tape. You can get them on Amazon. They're pretty affordable. You can get a pack of like 25 clear acrylic bins for like 25 bucks it's a deal you can use them in your bedside tables you can use them anywhere they're fabulous but I think having a space for everything is really gonna help and then creating a routine I know we talked about this before but I am a solid routine girl I do my little opening shift my little closing shift I can't go to bed when the house is messy I can't get any work done during the day when the house is messy so I think just creating a routine, whether that's realistically vacuuming once a week or vacuuming every single night or, you know what I mean? Just have your little routine of every single night you wipe down your counters and you might do a little, little vacuum, not like a deep vacuum, just like, you know, the main traffic areas, just do a quick little blah, blah, blah. And then maybe doing your sheets every week, every other week, we don't judge. Like that's yeah. another thing is like, you know, I clean all the time. I but literally the other week, I didn't do my sheets for two weeks. And that might be like super short for some people or really long for some people. But for me, that was kind of long. But don't compare. If you see someone else cleaning all the time, don't compare. I get it. Life gets busy. Sometimes the dishes pile up. But setting a timer could be another help for like your rules with cleaning. Setting a timer. Get a 10 minute timer going. Put your phone away. You'll be impressed with how much you can get done in a certain yeah. amount of time. So make sure all your stuff has a home. Set a timer when you're cleaning. You'll get so much more done. When you're shopping, be smart. Put together a little Pinterest board so you can stay inspired at all times. Um, um, and shop for what like makes you happy. You're going to find your style over time. I don't think it's great to go on people's like profile and be like, oh my gosh, I want everything to look that exact way. Whenever I get that comment, it's kind of like you have an incredible style. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I want to tell people. It's like, I love my home. I'm so proud of it. But like, everybody has their own style and you're going to find that style. It might be the trendy style, but that's not a bad thing either. Yeah. Like, you, you'll find your little things that you like. And as you shop more, it's going to work out. And for those of you who are just moving out or maybe starting completely from scratch, do not get overwhelmed. Do not get overwhelmed. When we first moved down to Florida, we did not have a couch for months. Like, it's just one of those things you see social media, you think it all just comes so quick and everything, whatever. It's stuff's Shop. expensive. It's really expensive, but just shop slowly, you know, yeah. take your time, look for deals um, I know like the holidays are coming up. So they're uh, good deals right now. Um, but shop slowly and buy things just as you go. You know, you might not have a couch, but you might find a pillow that you're going to really like for your couch. Get the pillow, get the pillow. And then we'll figure out the couch later. You know? Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, those are so good. I love those so much. And I love I I love the Pinterest board um tip with like curating your color palette. And something there I used to do this. There's a um website that you can upload a bunch of photos and then it pulls a color palette from those photos and it literally like gives you it gives you the hex codes and everything. Ooh. I was doing it for my for when I was doing like a rebrand for my website, but that you can actually like print out like a color palette. Like if you're looking at a Pinterest board, and you're over what you're like, oh my god, like I don't know what the vibe is here. It will actually pull the top exact colors from that whole thing. You can like upload the images. I'll see if Wait, I, can I love it that, and I'll link it. Um, so oh, if that's somebody's so wanting handy. to get like yeah, somebody's wanting to get like really exact, but this that was so helpful. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing. I really. I would not be surprised if you requested again. I'm just going to go ahead and say it because I feel like you've come so back much... anytime. Oh, thank you. <laughs> anytime. I, I feel like you have so much to share. Um, where can people find you? How can people best support you? All the things, all the above. So for supporting, just watch. You know, I, I get it, especially right now. Times are tough for a lot of people. Don't feel overwhelmed to go, you know, buy things. A really great way to support creators, you know, is by shopping their links, their affiliate things. It costs nothing extra. It just a little kickback for, you know, if someone recommended a product for you. Um, where you can find me, my at is it's Emily Leah on basically every single platform. And I will have a website coming very soon, which will be kind of like a so landing spot. <laughs> I'm so excited for it to come. It's been such a like long work in progress and I've just finally did it. Um, but the website will be coming soon. So maybe when I come on next time, it'll be already good to go. And we can yes. talk about the website. <laughs> yes, we could do it as like a, like a website debut, bring you back on so we can get a bunch of traffic yes. on there. That's awesome. Thank you so much. This was so helpful, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, please share and please go follow Emily because you will not regret it. It is a joy on my social media feed. And if you did love this episode, share with a friend, post it on Instagram, tag us so that we can then uh, shout you out and all that kind of stuff because we are community. So we love to share each other. Um, I hope you guys had a fabulous, have a fabulous week and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.